Hello friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Dr. Tasneem Ali from Kashmir Valley of India and presently working as assistant professor in the Department of Dermatology at Legal Muslim University in India. It's a matter of pleasure for me to share certain aspects about the use of salicylic acid for facial peeling. There are certain misconceptions about the use of salicylic acid and dermatologists feel scary in using this facial peel. In order to clear such queries, it became a driving force for me to write such a comprehensive review on salicylic acid. First of all, in the past, salicylic acid has been labeled as a keratolytic agent. That means an agent which must break into cellular keratin filaments. But now studies have revealed that salicylic acid causes disruption of cell cell addition molecules like desmosomes, including desmogenes, rather than lysing intracellular keratin filaments. So, friends, it's better to call salicylic acid a desmolytic agent rather than a true keratolytic agent. Secondly, in India, dermatologists are reluctant to use salicylic acid for facial peeling because of safety issues. But there is ample evidence to suggest that salicylic acid is safer even in darker skin types like Fitzpatrick skin type 4, 5 and 6. Another concern is the salicylic acid facial peeling and salicylism. There are cosmetologists who have carried out thousands of procedures of salicylic acid peeling without a single report of systemic toxicity being reported. Yes, there are reports of salicylism with the use of salicylic acid, but these are with the use of when 20% salicylic acid was used on more than 50% of body surface area or with the use of 40 to 50% salicylic acid paste. So friends, to conclude, conventional facial peeling with 20 to 30% salicylic acid must not pose any threat of salicylism to our blood patients. Thanks.